Arlen, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you. Thank you, thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to do an Alaska cruise wardrobe video. And it's just gonna be Alaska this time. It's not gonna be like going down the coast of uh, California, added on to it or anything like that. Uh, I am gonna be showing you what I'm gonna be taking, pretty much literally what I am going to be packing and taking with me as far as clothing is concerned. I will also show you some choices of shoes that I'm taking, and I will show you a couple of hair things that I'm taking and i uh, show you what I'm gonna pack up my jewelry in because I don't think I've ever shown that too much. So, uh, and my crossbody bag that I'm taking. I'm not gonna, this is not gonna be about the size of suitcases or packing cubes or packing folders or anything like that. Uh, I may do an updated video about that, but I just did one last year, uh, you know, so I could link that one to show you literally how I utilize my cubes and my uh, carmet folder and those kinds of things. But uh, for now, we're going to just stick with the wardrobe video. How about that? I am in our master bathroom. That's where I am. And I've got clothes hung all over the place here. I've got stuff laying on our bed and I've got stuff hanging on my closet door out in the hallway. So I'm going to take the camera down and we're, I'm just going to go through everything and explain what I have going on here. But I just wanted to kind of give you an introduction here uh, and explain what I was going to do. I do want to tell you that we are traveling in two days into Vancouver, two days before the start of our cruise. Flights have been so crazy and this time we just didn't want to take a chance coming from the East Coast over that our flight, one of our flights would be canceled or something like that. So we are going in two days ahead of time. And in Vancouver, it is most times in June, a little bit warmer than it is once you get up into Alaska. So I am going to take a couple of pairs, pairs of capris and uh, just to wear possibly on the second day. What I have on, I think, is what I'm going to be wearing on the plane. Uh, and I'll show you a picture of what I'm wearing here. And uh, I want something comfortable. And I've got to tell you guys, these jeggings that I have on, wait, before I get started, before I go any further, and I just said this in Monday's video, so if you haven't seen Monday's video, I'll go ahead and repeat it here just to explain why I'm doing another <laughs> Alaska uh, cruising wardrobe video. Y'all, I have lost a solid 76 pounds as you're looking at this video this morning. I've lost a solid 76 pounds since last July of 22. And I've had to purchase some new clothing for this cruise. Now there's some clothing that I have here I'm gonna be showing you that I've had in my closet and never have been able to fit into it. I bought them and then gained weight and never was able to fit into them. They're very similar to the black slacks for those of you who've been with me that I always wear but I will show these to you and I probably can link you something similar from Dress Barn, their secret agent pants. These are not, I mentioned the other day that they might be secret agent pants, they are not. These are established in 1962, so I don't think they are exactly the same as the secret agent pants, but they're similar. Anyway, regardless, so I just wanted to show you this outfit and this is what I'll wear on the plane. And the reason I'm gonna wear a little jacket is I always get cold on a plane. And I and, and again, I'm layering. I just have a short sleeve top on with these Jagans. Back to the Jagans, I was fixing to say. Now I wear, a, I'm, right now I'm between a 16 and an 18 on the bottoms and a 16, 14, 16, 18 on the top. Uh, some things you're gonna see are three X's. Some things you're gonna see are two X's. Some things might be, an extra large, I don't know. This particular little jacket is a 3X. It was made small. I can give you a link to something similar to this. In fact, I'll, I'll link my fashion uh, Amazon box in the description of the video and everything that I can link will be in there and I will mention the sizes. This is a 3X for me. And as I say, I am a, 
I am about a large 1X, small 2X right now, and this fits me nice. I can zip it up and it fits me nice, but this is a 3X. So if you're gonna order one of these little jackets, order up a size. The Jenkins are about true to size. I would say I am a true 2X, <laughs> 16, 18 on the bottoms, and I bought the longs. I have a 32 inch inseam, you guys, and I bought the tall or long, whatever it is, 2X, tall or long, and they fit beautifully and they are comfortable. And these are jeans. You guys, probably in every other wardrobe video you've ever seen me bait, I've said, oh, I'm not gonna wear jeans, I don't wear jeans. I love these. These are so comfortable and you can wear whatever, you can dress them up, put the little cute little flats on like I have today, or I can wear sneakers with them. So I just told Chris this morning, I said, I think I'm gonna order me a couple more pairs of these. So I will be taking about three pairs of these Jenkins that I have on in the picture. So, but anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started, stand up, and then take you around and explain everything to you. Uh, I'm sorry I'm having it in my bathroom here today, this video. I, I, this is the best place for me to do these videos because I have a lot of places where I can hang things, and I don't have to lug everything out of the bedroom and take it to the kitchen or something, you know? So, we're going to go with it here in the master bathroom <laughs> and the bedroom. We're going to walk in there, too. Anyway, uh, while uh, before I close, I do want to ask you to please subscribe either to Arlen's Country Craft Corner or Arlen's Travels. I am double posting this today or whenever I get this up, uh, just because I feel sorry for those over on my Country Craft Corner channel if they don't, I haven't put any other content up this week, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up for you guys, so I'll be saying something to you. I don't know whether I'm going to get to that wreath this week, you guys. I don't think I am. I just don't feel it, you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> So this might be the last video for this week. I may come back and show you on my Country Craft Corner. We did get our patio furniture in. So I may just come back and show you that and show you a few pictures of Maverick who was here last weekend. I may do something like that like on Friday or something. But it'll be just be a chit-chat video. No crafting. <laughs> I'm just... We had to go out of town yesterday kind of on a little bit of uh, an emergency. And so it's been a week, you know. Anyway... Hush, let me go into my final words, but I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to both channels. If you haven't, I would always love to welcome you, in, you into my YouTube families. Uh, I would appreciate it. Hit the bell, hit the notification bell, then hit all so you never miss one of my uploads. All right? Final all right. Word. With that said, that little business out of the way, let me go into my final words here while I'm looking at you because I don't like to do them behind the camera. I like to look you in the eyes when I, when I say these words. Um, I was going to say, give you these words. I, I really do feel that there's somebody out there who might need to hear these each time I say them, or I don't think the Lord would have ever given them to me to say. Uh, I think that it's important that I say them, and I don't say them in all my travel videos. I know I don't, uh, especially when I'm there on the ship and doing things. I don't always say them, but when I'm here at home and have nothing else to do, we are going to say them, and they are, thank you so much for stopping in here today. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. With all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care, but stick around because we're going to go look at some clothes and talk about some outfits that I'm going to be taking on our Alaska cruise coming up in June. All right, be right back behind the camera. Okay, okay, everybody, I'm back. There I am. Hello. <laughs> And we're just going to move this where I was sitting just a minute ago. So we're going to move right here. This is our shower behind you there. So excuse <laughs> the, the glass door. And if you see my reflection, pardon that, please. So here I have three different pairs of pants and three different kinds of pants that I will take. As you can tell, they're all dark. I will be taking black and then I will be taking the stone washed, uh, dark washed, excuse me, dark washed jeggings that I have on. And I will be taking a pair of these. This, this is kind of a gray, black Jagan. This is the same thing that I have on. So I wanted to tell you that I do not know whether I will be able to find you these nice slacks. They are kind of the same as the Secret Agent pants there at Dress Barn. If I can find something similar to this, 
I will link it for you in the description box, uh, but I don't know how expensive these will be. These very well could be kind of pricey, uh, but they are pull-on, the elastic waist, and they are pull-on. There's no pockets in them, but they're very kind of sleek and nice, and they hang very nicely on, on your body. You know, they don't cling. They're very nice. They also neck down to the ankle, and I prefer that for myself. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I don't like a flare uh, leg at the bottom, but that's just me. That's what my preference. So, of course, they don't neck down as, as small as the Jagans, but almost. So I really like those. And then this is a pair of ankle pants uh, that I will also take probably a couple of pairs on. I'm, I, I'm not sure how many pairs of each I will take. We are gonna be doing laundry when we're on board. But I just wanted to show you the different kinds of slacks that I'm taking, all dark colors, because I really feel like you can mix and match when you have dark bottoms. I don't wanna take a pair of white you know, ankle pants or a pair of white pants, a pair of blue pants, a pair of this, you know. I wanna be able to mix and match. I may take a pair of blue of these Jagans, but uh, basically I'll be taking black. All right, uh, now how I manage my Alaska cruises is I mix and match a lot. Now, I'm not saying that I'm gonna take all of this that I have hanging here, but I sure wanted to show you some different choices that I've gotten out for myself. I haven't honed down exactly what I'm taking yet, but I wanted to show you the types of things I take. For smart casual days, these would be for all smart casual days and some would be for excursion days, you know? It just depends on what you're doing. If you're going hiking, I don't even have a sweatshirt out here, but take a sweatshirt or buy a sweatshirt when you're there. If you're gonna be doing a whale watching, you could do, you know, a jacket, but then pair it with, you know, a little vest and top or something like that. But anyway, I'm gonna go through these and just show you the types of things that I do take on my Alaska cruises. Uh, I really do sometimes like to dress a little little bit up for dinner. And uh, on even on a smart casual night, I, for me, I you can go in jeans and I will probably go in my little Jagan jeans, you know, one night. But, and I could pair it with this. I could pair my jeans with this, as a matter of fact. Just a, a nice apartment nine, this is from Kohl's, shirt, old, this is very old. And then this little kimono is from collections, et cetera. If I have myself in an outfit that I'm showing you or something similar, I will show it to you in a split screen here. Uh, so I really, I really like that outfit. That's a, that's a cute little outfit. I have found these, which I need to iron or at least put in a dryer with a, you know, wrinkle release or something here. This part just came just yesterday. But I love these little, um, sweaters with the ruffle around the edges. This is a 2X and these do, this is a, it fits true to size. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm about a 2X, small 2X, big 1X. And I bought a, you know, a 2X because I'm in a layer. So you can see they're 2X. Uh, and I'm going to pair this with, and these are very lightweight and they will fold up so small, you guys. And when I get them to the stateroom, I will pair, put my pairs together. In other words, I will hang both of these on one hanger. But this is the shirt I wanna pair with this sweater, you know? And, and that's just a pretty little smart casual outfit. And you could pair it with any of these pants choices. So you will see me doing a lot of these sweaters, which I really, I've just found on Amazon. I love them, they're well-priced. They're $23, I think, something like that. Then I do have a different type too of a little jacket that I like from uh, Amazon. I do a lot from Amazon because I don't have any plus size stores like in brick and mortar anymore around me. This is another little jacket. It goes to the two points in the front, and but it does cover my bum in the back, but it does drop down a little bit. It's just a little cardigan and you could pair it with, you know, a color like this a, tea, black t-shirt underneath of it. And again, I pair it with dark bottoms. Same with all of these, and I'll just go through these kind of quick. Uh, this 2X, if you see this linked in my uh, Amazon shop, I've got an extra large coming. They don't have a 1X in it. That is a little big for me, I will say that, but because I pair it with the little sweater underneath, which again has, maybe you can see it better on this, it has the little ruffle. 
I love these. I'm telling you, they're so flattering, you guys. I just love them. So that will be one outfit. Then I have black. This is from Old Navy from years and years ago. This is a very old shirt. Black, and then I have a black, one of those sweaters. And I have a blue, blue sweater and this little white top. So again, I don't know that I'm gonna take all of these, but I'm just giving you options, you know, and different looks. Again, I'm gonna be cruising for two weeks, so I will take more tops or more sets of tops than I will bottoms because all my bottoms are gonna be black and dark, but I really would like to look differently for myself. No, anybody on the ship, they don't care. They don't care if you wear the same thing every day but I care, you guys. I hear so many people saying, well, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna see you again. Well, it matters to me. It matters to me. I feel better if I have a little something different to wear. I do not claim to be a minimalist packer. packer. I claim to be a maximalist packer. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just who I am. Uh, these I just have hanging here because these might be the, the capris that I take uh, to go to Vancouver, to, you know, to walk around Vancouver if it's warmer. I got to check the, you know, the uh, weather before we go to do the 10 day, you know, I'll do the 10 day forecast, you know, before we leave. But these are really cute, just super stretch pants I got from Avenue. These I, are not available right now. These particular ones are not available right now. Um, but I'm sure they have another rendition in of a stretch uh, Capri on Avenue. And if they do, I'll link it for you. There we go. Uh, that's the second one. And I just have a blue top to go with that. I don't know whether I'll take these or not, you guys, but we'll see. Now onto okay. my Alaska themed clothing, kind of. <laughs> I love me some red, you guys. I have to say red is one of my very favorite colors to wear and to decorate with. Uh, but here is some of the stuff that I have left over from years past. This is a vest that I always pair with a three quarter length top or a turtleneck underneath of it. And there you can see I have the turtleneck down there. I do take a couple of turtlenecks because when you're in the glaciers, you guys, it can be quite chilly. So then I bought this shirt on a Princess Cruise years and years ago. It is a 2X, but it is a small 2X and I've never been able to get into it. I am taking it on this cruise and I'm pairing it with this red top underneath of it. And I think that'll be super cute. Very casual, you know, but good for smart casual. Good for a smart casual day, you know, on board. So cute, I love that. I love that. And as you can say, see, it is a princess. I got it on a princess ship. So I have that. <laughs> then I just found this on Amazon the other day. It is a super cute top. It's just a, a you know, it does, I'm not gonna layer this unless I put a turtleneck underneath of it, which I could. But again, with the red buffalo check, I think it's really cute. And I just got this from Amazon. Look at the cute sleeves on it. So, and then I, and then I will take one black vest and I will pair it one day with this top and I will pair it another day with that top. So these are all my Alaska <laughs> uh, red things, which I love. And that's why I say I have all of that, so I probably will not need to take all of this, although I will take some for sure. And now for some uh, formal wear choices. I don't know that I'm gonna be taking all of these, but I will be taking, I'll have four formal nights because I'm doing a back-to-back and so I don't need four different formal outfits, of course, but I may take four different ones. I don't know, I'll show you. I have this kimono that I would just pair with a black something underneath of it. And, and then I love these blingy shirts. Look at this. I bought this gold one a couple weeks ago and I can show you a picture of myself in this. I already had this black kimono then I, I had bought this blue one to go to the Caribbean, and I really might take that to Alaska too. Do gold and black one night, do blue and black another night with black slacks, with the black secret agent pants and black patent leather shoes, which I'll show you here in a minute. Wouldn't that be cute? Those two outfits would be super pretty. 
then I just got back into this pretty outfit. I did get this from Dress Barn, I think. You can see it's a 16 women's. And it comes with its own black slacks. And I do have a picture of myself in this. I haven't been able to get into this in several years. The picture you're seeing is from 2018. So, but it's still in good shape because I've only worn it like once or twice on a, on a cruise ship and I love it. A little, and then one more formal outfit. I have a little jumpsuit that it goes down. It's almost an ankle length, but not quite on me because I'm tall. But it's cute, and then I bought this jacket on board a princess ship as well. And I have not been able to wear this in several years. So I will be taking that, and I can show you a picture of myself. That is actually a little big on me, so I don't know whether I'll end up taking that or not. We'll see. So anyway, as far as clothing goes, that about covers it. That about covers it. You know, and as I said, I don't know that I'll take everything, but I very well might. So we'll just see. Also, I wanted to mention scarves. I do take some scarves with me. Um, and I just have a little array here that I just pulled out of my closet. Red scarves and I can show I you can some show. pictures of myself and how I pair them with my outfits. So while I'm standing here talking about them, but I don't really take a winter scarf, you guys. I don't take a winter hat either because I tend to put my hair up. I might consider earmuffs in the glaciers, but I have never taken them, so I've always been fine without that. I have put a hood up, though, with a baseball cap, so there is that. Then, as you saw the other day, I'm not going to go through these coats. I'll put a link in the description for the video from the other day. I will take my Alaska jacket, and I will take this jacket and, and I, I do have that one cream vest I'll show you a picture that I will take too so hi everyone I'm morphing in here with a little bit of extra footage I think at the beginning of the video I had mentioned that I I was going to mention some hair options and I just wanted to show you these little headbands that I have found on Amazon they come in sets of many uh, I will probably take a red and a black one and then they also have these cute little uh, clips that I clip my hair up. If you've seen my other wardrobe videos, you know that I like to clip my hair up, especially when we're out on the water and the, my hair is blowing in my face. I can't stand it. As you know, my hair has kind of gotten gotten longer, so I do, I do definitely uh, like to put it up when I'm going to do an excursion on the water or when we're on, on, on Glacier Bay Day, for instance, and I have high necks and I don't want to have to be dealing with my hair around my neck and all of that stuff. I just put it up, you guys. So anyway, I just wanted to mention this couple of things. I do have a blingy headband that I put in for uh, formal nights sometimes just for something different. And uh, yeah, I just kind of like to do different things. A couple barrettes. I will take, you know, some pretty prettier barrettes. I have them kind of over here. And I also got these from Amazon. I, I sound like I'm an Amazon advertisement. I don't mean that, but... You can get so much on there that I, I just take these. This came in a set of butterflies and then like this. And one that looks kind of like a snowflake and little filigree. Anyway, right. they're just little clips. So anyway, all right, back to our regularly scheduled And as program. we walk out here, I'm not gonna talk much more in this one, but I do take fingerless gloves. Uh, and these are the type that have the little cover that you can put down over your fingers. This is what I pack my jewelry in. And I do take a good array of jewelry. This is uh, old, so I know I don't can't link this for you, but that is old. Uh, this is my crossbody bag that I'm using every day and am going to take to Alaska. I love this. It's nice and small and perfect size to take on an excursion if I don't want to take a backpack. And then here are the shoes that I just grabbed out of my closet. Uh, my sneakers that I usually wear on excursions. And then these are the little fever sole shoes I have in every color of the rainbow, pretty much, that I love to pair with the Jagans or with the Secret Agent pants. And these are run about true to size, you guys. You can see I have a pair of gold, have a pair of um, black, and I have a pair of red. And I do have a pair of blue that I have on my feet. So, yeah, I'll probably take all of those. And I do take a pair of slippers. So, 
Uh, so that'll be it for now, you guys. I'm not going to go into any more detail as far as how to pack and or that. to show you suitcases or anything like that that I take in this one. I just really wanted to give you an idea of some of the things that I am, that I take and that I'm planning to take this time. Some of this, if you've been with me for a long time, you've seen, <laughs> but it's been a while. <laughs> so anyway, that'll do it for this one, you guys. I hope all is well with everyone, as I said. Love y'all bunches. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.